today on hard mode backwards. So here we are again, stuck in mud. Why is this thing beat up? It's uh, it's been put through a lot of work. <laughs> oh, it's the plant that I need to get the cement from. That's really convenient. Yep. Okay, welcome back. And we are headed over to go get a curtain side trailer. I don't know if it's this one or not. I think it is. I'll have to take a look at the task here in a second. Uh, there's this one that's over to the west that is actually past this fuel carrier, which we're going to pick up on the way back as well. We're going to try and do a twofer with our old CT681. We uh, moved a couple of vehicles kind of around, not really, I guess. Parked a few vehicles at the end. Um, I brought the Mac to the main part of town here because we're going to be picking up some stuff. And what else did I bring out? Oh, I moved the, uh, the second curtain side trailer to the other one with the Taiga, the repair Taiga. Ooh, this is yucky. This is... I was kind of thinking I could sneak through here. Looks like we still can. It's just going to be a little bit slow. It's okay. We're used to slow from the last one. <laughs> that was so brutal. I'm still like reeling from that one a couple days later. But uh, it is what it is. Sometimes you, you pick the wrong truck. And that was definitely just a case of picking the wrong truck. But I digress. We're picking the right trucks today. I was thinking about available... I mean, I'm not going to buy anything, but... Thinking about the vehicles we get in Season 9 and vehicles that are available to us and that kind of thing. And we're, we're getting actually some kind of fun vehicles to like use try out I guess like not very strong vehicles I guess we get a, you know another fleet star and could increase our fuel truck fleet but I don't think I think we're going to be increasing our water truck fleet for uh, season 9 but we'll see how things go I guess All right, here's my trailer is this the one? Oh, that's not the one. Uh, yeah, that's the other one. What's this one? Is that a contract? It is a contract. It's that one. Okay. I knew it went down there somewhere. I just wanted to make sure. So yeah, from the last one, we're 90%, by the way. So, and it's Thursday. So I still am not 100% convinced I'm going to be done in two days, but maybe. Maybe. I think I have a pretty good plan for this one. These trailers really suck to pull, don't they? That's not a tree that's going to be solid, is it? That is going to be... Oh, for crying out loud. We'll just winch it out of here. It was just stuck in there is what it was. It was buried in the mud. Now we should be able to hook up to it.
So yeah, let's get this thing out of here. I think we'll probably just go the same way. Even though it's going to kind of suck. I mean, we could go around, I guess. I just don't really see a way. Yeah, let's just go this way. We'll just go slow. So yeah, not, not a ton left to do. We're... Let's look at that again. I think we're done with contests. Yep, contests are done. Tasks are... What do we have left? One... Two, three, four, four tasks left. And one, two, three, four. So yeah, four and four. It's possible. It's possible we could be done tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna try and get the Uncle Fish one done today. Um we're just kind of moving this just because it's we need to move it, so. Both of these things need to go down there. And I think we might just sacrifice that whole fuel tank. I'm probably okay with it. It'll probably be the last thing we do. We'll take that fuel tank and this down to the port for the last thing. We'll just fill everything up. Fill everything we can up, I guess. I guess that, that tanker in town is... sort of a free one. And we can fill it up at least and then take it to the base and fill up any fuel trucks or any, any or if the... Uh, as we're like parking vehicles, we'll use it from there. And then there's the repair thing right by the garage, so that works out really good in this one. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start planning for the end. I just don't know if the end's gonna be this week or next week. You get too many areas like this, I I don't know. <laughs> Solid tree? That's a solid tree. Get through this little bit of mud and then we should be okay. Of course, we're starting at night again. It seems to be sort of a trend. Doing a bunch of work at night, you know, hard mode things. But yeah, the plan is, is we are going to continue backwards with this save. I'm going to definitely do Season 9. Um, just something I kind of want to do. I think it's going to be a fun one. I've never, I've definitely never completed that one. I haven't done 8. I guess I haven't really done all of them to completion, but... Um, uh, Lake, or er, Lake Cove. Polar Peninsula I did pretty close. I think I was like 93% or something at one point in, in a save for Pola. I feel like I need to end at a mirror though. It's sort of like the end game. my winching cute. Nothing, apparently. Come on, you can make it. I have any winch points out here? What the heck? 
What the heck? Yeah, it's just the fact that this trailer is just so heavy. Really hope there's a down tree out here or something. Uh, that's not good. We got one more tree to get ourselves. Towards this next tree. What? What am I attached to? I'm attached to something. Not something there, though. Um, I guess the back of the trailer. We got something. Just needed to get through that really deep spot there. Let's just bring this trailer. We'll leapfrog this trailer. So here we are again, stuck in mud. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Not. That's not solid, is it? There we go. What's the way out of here? Okay, left. Left on this road. Which means we gotta go and turn this around, get this up the hill. Good thing this has got a full tank of fuel in it, huh? That's good enough. Now we gotta get turned around. Get this thing out of here. Where does this wants to go? I mean, I guess it does sort of go down that way, doesn't it? Um. Why don't we bring this this way? See if we can get no. Try and back this up here. Gotta get it more straightened out. We'll eventually figure this out. There we go.
There we go. Except like that's. See if we can get it here in a second. I just want to get it out to the road and we'll figure out what we're going to do with it next, but. Okay, am I close enough? Nope. How about now? There, here we go. We got it. Good enough. See if we can get up this hill. Try and take the grass. Got it. Alright, that's good enough for now. Let's get up to the top of this hill. Park it. With some fuel. Alright, we'll figure that part out later. Let's hop in the Mac Defense and activate this one. So we need, we have the consumables on the ground there, but this is going to be kind of a sucky haul. The only good part is, is it's all from the same place. However, we need to go up here. <laughs> we need to go up here. And then overload. Two metal beams, two concrete slabs. So we're going to give it a shot. This is the vehicle to do it with, though. It's either this or the, I guess the Kenworth would have been a good option, too. But it just loaded three sideways and one on top. But Kenworth is on the way down, waiting for this to be done. So we can do more work down that way. And we could we could bring the CT six eighty one back. There's another trailer down here, but I think we'll be able to get it. I think I might have found a way through the swamp too. In the in all of the woes I had in the last episode, there was a silver lining of possibly finally right at the end finding a way through the swamp towards the garage. Possibly, like sorta kinda. couple different ways you can kind of sneak around it where it's not as bad but it is pretty flat so I guess I'm not too concerned except for this part right here this is going to be the one sucky part but where I'm going to be possibly losing overloaded stuff but it is coming down the hill from here though too which is nice I don't necessarily have to take it up this kind of steep hill. So yeah, we'll see if we can't finish this, and then like I said, we can just pick up those two consumables on the ground. Then there's a contract that's over that way. I believe it's a contract. It's a contract or no, it's the task that goes to that water tower. But I'm gonna just do with either this or the doesn't really matter, this or the Kenworth. And then we got to pick up stuff, which I'm going to do with the Kenworth probably, and take it all the way to the other map. Because we got to pick up some cement on the way back. So hopefully, we can get all that done today. We'll see, we'll see how far we get. Alright, so let's do... I think we're going to do a metal beams, and then a concrete slab in the back and then we're gonna we need to do a loading platform concrete slab I'm just gonna set it on the ground
Okay. And then a metal beams. And then unpack. Push this stuff back. See if I can catch this. That's why I put the metal beams in front, because I think I can actually catch the lip of this. Yep. Good. Come back. Alright, so let's pack that. And then we're going to take this metal beam and put it on top of the other metal beam because they kind of like, they almost kind of lock into place because of those ridges. This was sort of my plan when I was going through it. I was like, okay, how am I going to successfully overload this? I'm going to try and put these on top of the other metal beams. It lets me get him back that far. The yellow crane is the crane that can do it. We are probably going to do a couple of little cuts in this one. Just because going back through the city is going to be kind of boring. might save us some time. I guess I'll keep the camera, I'll keep the recording going just in case I do something dumb, but we're gonna try and not do that. <laughs> we're trying not to. I don't know, maybe not. But we'll see. Okay, that's good enough. Let's just restore this crane. Alright, I'm gonna get sort of towards where we need to go. Ooh. Are we too heavy? Nope, I was just locked up. Yikers. Bit of heavy load. But uh, yeah, we're gonna just take a little cut here and I uh, will be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. We made it through town. Um, I bumped the light pole on the way down the hill from the uh, thing and it actually kind of slid forward like this and uh, I didn't have to pick anything up, but uh, I was like, oh, uh, this, this works too. So that's where I left it. <laughs> It kind of like hopped up a little bit and then it like slid over the top of that and I was like, that'll work. And then I made myself a little path. I realized that we have another truck in the way that we're going to have to deal with. So we'll do that first. <laughs> the, uh, the Taiga with its two um, curtain side trailers is in the road. So when we get up there, we'll swap over and do that quick. That was also on the list of things I wanted to do today. I just forgot about it. I was busy moving fuel trailers around. Okay, so this path that I made is not through there. I think it'll work. I guess we'll find out. It could be... I don't think it can be any worse than trying to just go straight through the mud pit. It looks to be sort of like a off-the-beaten-path path. And I believe this is sort of where I ended up rescuing the uh, W990 from. And it, it actually sort of cleared up. Yeah, we'll just have to be kind of careful through here. Not hit a pole again. 
Um, what did I do here? I believe I went left. A little bit of shift there. No, well, we can't go through that way. Um, okay, so what do we do here? Because, yeah, like, you, you can go right there. Uh, this kind of screws everything up, doesn't it? I needed to go... I think I needed to go right at the T. Yeah, I definitely can't get through this stuff. Um, okay. Well. Maybe... Go kind of like this. Try and hit that spot. And come through this way. Yeah, I don't think this, this is just going to be mud. We'll figure it out. See if I can cut to the right here. I just don't want to hit this pole. We're going to have to go through a little bit of the mud at least. Or any of these trees. Because this path is actually not too bad. You stay left here, it's actually kind of okay too, but... Just kind of experimenting with different ways through this. Yeah, that, that was better. That was definitely better. And then this you stay, you go around it to the left. And you don't have to deal with all this mud. This is a bad one. This is the one that really slows me down no matter what. I just don't want these to flip. It's kind of tilty. I'll have to be careful here. Hopefully I don't lose these. Stay going. Okay. I think we're safe. Yep. That worked out a lot better. <laughs> right at the end, we find a way through. And again, we didn't really spend a lot of time in this map either. We did go this way a few times, though. So that'll be good for um, taking vehicles back to the garage. Because we're going to have to come all through this way. And any minute now, we're going to be coming up on our taiga. Slow it down a little bit. These roads are a little, uh... Like, they're fine to drive on, but they get a little tilty. It's my taiga, anyhow. I leave it in the mud. Mm, maybe not. I should have went right there. It's okay. This road's okay too. There it is. Nope, oh, I left it on the road. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to swap to that. And hop in our taiga. Hook this up. Turn these in right away. There's another little mud pit here, yeah. Not a bad one. Ooh, there. I guess it's kind of a not the greatest mud pit, but might have to just do one of these.
Can I still reach? Still reach. I'm gonna wreck this path for my for my other truck. Okay. Let me out of here. Okay. We're just not gonna be agreeable today, I see. That was the other thing with that that very very shortened section of going through the, the mud with the W990 in the last one is like auto winch just didn't work at all because obviously there were so many trees so I was just like oh my god here we go again pick the trailer up drop the trailer pick the trailer up drop the trailer it was really bad it was just very much the wrong truck because when I was going into there I was like this is gonna be bad <laughs> like before before the episode and everything I was kind of positioning that thing and I was like this is a mistake but for content so yeah this should just be like a one two punch here we're going to turn in the one that's behind The way back here. You here? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, shut this off. Uh, and then we have our tower for the fish farm, which it can be done here in a second after we complete this one. And that's from our Mac defense. It's right here. Try and keep some speed through this. Just not flip my stuff over. Oh, don't lose it. Come on, you got it. Actually, that's a... It's quite the good little screenshot right there. I like it. I'll stop in the mud for that. That was worth it. That was a good one. Holy cow. Really dig it in. Come on, you can make it through. Okay, we got it. Oh, I'm gonna have to like shuffle this around a little bit to turn this in. Oh well.
I have an idea. Here's our consumables. Okay. So, first things first. Stop. We're not turning that in yet. We're straightening this one out. Trying to get this one right over the top of this. So when we turn it in, it falls into place. Sort of. Then we're going to take this and just lift it up in the air. Hopefully far enough away. So we can pack it. There we go. Then... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> take this this over here. Okay. And drag these over. Give me that one. Pack that. Restore. Turn in. Got it. Okay. So now, we should have a warehouse here. Right here. That we can pick up a cargo container and a metal beams from that go right over here. And there's a fuel trailer over here, so we should be fine. So that's two things done, right? Two things. We're prepped for a third. This will this will be this will be three, but we're pre we're prepped for a third with the uh, fuel container. But I think what we're gonna do next is there's a contract that's over here that I hope is unlocked. That spawns a couple things I have to pick off the ground and take back to Duncan Bay. So we're going to do this quick, and then we're going to just leave this over there. We'll worry about... I'll do some after-episode cleanup of vehicles. But yeah, it's, it's looking promising. I think we can do the four that I wanted to do in this one. And then we gotta come, or we gotta do something high saddle for the boat, though. Uh, I guess this could probably do it. This can be high saddle. I don't know if I want to use the P-16 through that muck. Yeah, maybe we'll use this. We have the boat to do yet, and then turn it in a couple of tasks. And then I think there's... What else is left? I don't even remember. We'll have to take a look. Yeah, 
Yeah, that plan worked out though. I didn't lose those once. That overloaded uh, cargo worked out well. I mean, I guess we gotta come back. I forget what you need to the cement. There's a there's a contract that needs cement, and I don't believe there's any here. Yes, yeah, so we'll take a very quick peek when we turn this in. Go get some fuel, and we'll take a peek. drive this back. Probably just take the path that it's on. It's a little bit twisty, but this thing can probably make it. I'll figure that out. Like I said, I post the episode, I'll do some vehicle moving. And if I can get it prepped right, I think we can do it in one more. I think so. I think so. I have, I have optim... I'm, uh... more than 50% optimistic about it. Okay. That's three. Oh yeah, I wanted to get some fuel. The fuel that's right here. Not this contest. Fuel. Okay. So, we have... Actually, what's going here? What do we have left for tasks? I don't know if I have them all, like, fully unlocked. The tank, the oil tank. And there's the one. Support local businesses requires... I don't even know if I have that open yet. Is that it? Just the two? Oil tank and that. That's it. Okay, so where is that task? Our local businesses is right there. Let's hop and let's just go get this quick. I just want to see what this is. Right there. Because if I if I track it, it might show me that I'm just dumb and I don't need to go over all the way to the other map to get cement. This is why I'm doing this. <laughs> Yeah, I think we'll do a little bit of a fuel swap in, in the after episode as well. And bring that fuel trailer over here and swap some fuel out of it. Except, start tracking. Okay. Metal beams, no, yeah, no cement. So, ooh. Nope, metal beams again. Okay, so... Where do we get the cement from? It's not even showing Duncan Bay. Metal beams, concrete slab, metal rolls, concrete blocks. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I definitely know it's, it comes from Duncan Bay, but I just need to find it. So yeah, we'll have to, we'll get two metal rolls from here with something. Maybe we'll just swing by with the, because that's my, that was my initial plan, is we're going to take this guy at the top in the Kenworth. And the last thing we're going to try and do today is this. We go here, it spawns two special cargo, and then we gotta take it to the plant in Duncan Bay. 
because we got to go there anyhow. Then that and that are going to go together because they're right there. And then we have the boat. Oh, we have another task yet. We have five things to do yet. Oh, yeah, because I have only done three. Uh, duh. Okay, so let's turn around. Go this way. Pick this stuff up. Take it over to Duncan Bay. And that's where we'll call the episode. And then I will probably go get some cement. Clean up some stuff. Get things ready. Figure out what we're going to move the, the boat with. And then I think we'll be okay to finish. And we have... 15-ish minutes left in the episode. So yeah, we should be able to get this done too. Why is this thing beat up? It's uh, it's been put through a lot of work. <laughs> I think we'll, I think we'll give this one a little repair before the end. I was watching a uh, Lad Vulcan's video on super heavies and how he likes the Kenworth 963 as well and I was like yep it's good it's definitely my favorite okay so this should happen two things should spawn on the ground we go pick them up special cargo ooh good thing I brought this we're gonna have to overload this I didn't even know what it was I was like well I guess we'll figure it out, but we figured it out. <laughs> okay. Let's get this one on the back. Do the normal free slot overload with this. Put this one back here. Good. And then we'll put this one in front of it. Vlad Vulcan, by the way, if you don't know, is the guy who makes the, uh, like, the big spreadsheet that has all of the data. That is linked on uh, Map Runner. That's that's the Vlad that I'm talking about. So he is a spreadsheet spreadsheet nerd extraordinaire, just like myself. <laughs> okay, this is not a green. There we go. Come on. Get down in there. Give this a little pinch. And make a very generic path to get ourselves back to the gateway we'll stop here get some fuel and then go this way and that should be good I don't even know where the plant is we'll see how far away from the port it is <laughs> There's our boat. That's going to be a pain in the butt. Which means whatever we use is probably just going to be put away in that garage kind of low on fuel. <laughs> so. 
I don't think I'm going to bring fuel to it. We're just going to fill up sort of at this little city here like we always do. And then take it to the port. So yeah, we'll have to figure that out as well. Like I said, it, it might be this. We might just like finish strong. Even though that thing's kind of heavy. This thing does have a pretty high, high saddle, which I think is what we kind of need with that trailer. We don't need to be fast, we just need lift. Yeah, I think that, that might be what we'll do. That might be what we'll do. Might actually end with a big trailer, that's kind of crazy. When you think about it. I almost never end with big stuff. I mean, the last time I ended with... I guess, no, we didn't end with... We didn't, we didn't even end with logging in Michigan. We ended with Super Order, I think. Or cement, maybe? Cement for the region? One of those. It was just deliveries. That's how we ended. Sneak through our bit of muddy spot. Oh, I went the wrong way. Ooh. It turned. It turned in time. Which way did I go through? Because I did. I did sort of do it this way. And I was going back to get it. And I think it was maybe further left. See what happens if we go further left. I go on the outside of this instead of going through that. Again, this this is a bad test because the Kenworth just kind of goes through stuff like this. Does it get deep here? Yeah, it gets a little deep there. We come through on the back side of this stuff. This stuff is kind of sticky, but there's trees. And then what about this intersection? Yeah, that might be the way to do it. Come through this way. Yeah, a little slow. A little muddy. I have to get through a little bit of it. Is there like, yeah, I guess there's a pole there we can winch to. Alright, that might be the way. This is almost perfect, actually. We're gonna finish this. I'll probably... We'll get to the gateway, and then I'll probably, uh... Figure out where we need to go, and then we'll map out a path, and we'll just go. Turn it in. And that'll be the episode. And then... Like I said, I can pick up some cement on the way back. We'll do that off-camera. We'll have to come back with this to give it... Where does that go? I guess we'll figure that out as well. It means I can I can go park the Lodestar as well. We don't need it. We'll take a couple of vehicles back to the garage. Probably take the uh, White Western Star with its fuel trailer. We'll fill that up with the other one. And then we'll take it back to the garage and fill up our fuel truck that's up down there and then just leave it sitting there, leave the fuel trailer sitting there and whatever's left in it is going to stay here and whatever's left in this other one is going to get turned in. Yeah, we'll be able to drain some of it. It'll work out. Kind of unfortunate that I took the, I guess I needed the fleet star at the garage though. We did need fuel there. 
Oh, I can fill it up with that little scout trailer. That's where the... Yeah. We'll fill up most of it with the, with the scout trailer. That'll work. That will work. I guess it doesn't really matter. Like I said, we're going to have a, a whole semi-tanker sitting at that garage. That were... It'll be like Michigan, we're just never going to come back for it, but... <laughs> I don't know how expensive fuel is. I'll have to take a look and see how expensive fuel is in Season 9. I think it starts to get a little pricey. So... But again, we're, we're sitting at 400-something thousand. And just, we're definitely not buying any vehicles. We're only going to be spending money on upgrading the nine vehicles we get. And possibly selling a couple of them. So... Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Well, that was an easy trip. Alright, let's see where this goes, and we'll map a path. Let's see... Not that planned. Over to the plant. Where's the plant? Is it that plant? Oh. It's the plant that I need to get the cement from. That's really convenient. Yep. Well, that's easy. That's really close, too. I didn't even need to make a special trip for it. Well, I'm a fan of that. And there's fuel up here, too. We still have a little bit of a fuel, fuel trailer up here. Well, on that note, this is where we're going to leave it. I'm going to zip over there, turn this in. Uh, as always... Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one.